Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Cooking for the Family. I'm Devon and today I'm going to share with y'all how I make my smothered chicken in the crock pot. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I'll also have a list of ingredients in the description box below. But what I'm going to share with you and show you is how I take those ingredients to put them together to make a wonderful chicken dinner meal. So in my bowl here, I have seven bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs. And my chicken thighs, I've gone on and rinsed them and I've also patted them dry. And so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to season them up. I'm using some Lowry seasoning salt, but you can use whatever seasoning salt that your family likes or that you happen to have on hand. And so I'm going to go ahead and season these really well. I'm going to put a nice sheen of seasoning. You don't want to um, over season them. So I'm really, I'm careful not to over season them. I'm also going to use some of this nature's seasoning. The nature seasoning is a blend of pepper, garlic, and onion powder blended together with a couple of other spices and a little parsley is in there as well. And so I'm gonna also use some of that and sprinkle that on back and forth. Now, if you don't have any of the nature's own, you can just use some additional salt if you want or pepper. You can also just use a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder. Those seasonings are kind of robust and they can be kind of strong and overpowering. So you just wanna use a little bit. And so, but I'll have that information on in the description box below for you. So once I've gone on and I've seasoned up my chicken, I wash up my hands and we're going to go ahead and we're going to sear off our chicken. We're going to sear it off and put a nice sear on it. And it's going to just look so nice, beautiful and golden when we're nice and done with it. So in my pan, I'm going to put two tablespoons of butter. You can use either salted or unsalted butter. Either one is going to be fine. And we're also going to be building up some nice fawn in the bottom of our pan. And fawn is going to be those pan drippings and the nice browning that happens when you sear off your meats in your pan. And so we're going to also be lifting that fawn up with a little bit of water. And that's going to add some wonderful richness when we finish up and put everything in our crock pot. Now, for whatever reason, uh, if you don't want to be using the skin on uh, chicken thighs, what you can do is you would still get the bone in chicken thighs, but you would take the skin off of your chicken thighs, season up your chicken thighs, and then put them in your slow cooker with one cup of either chicken broth or either chicken stock. And you can use the bouillon if you like to make your chicken broth. You can use a can. You can use, you know, carton. But you just want to use one cup because the chicken is also going to create its nice own juices as well. And what I like to do is I like to start my chicken and my pan skin side down. And then once I have that golden brown, uh, you know, color to the skin, then I go on and I flip them and I'm only going to flip them once. So skin side down once and then the underside once. Once it's got a little bit of like a golden brown on it, just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and remove them from the pan and continue on and do my second batch. And we're not trying to totally cook the chicken because we're going to slow cook our chicken and it comes out so nice and tender. I'm going to share with you how to make that wonderful gravy for the smothering and it's going to finish up our chicken in our slow cooker. And so again, I go ahead with my second batch and I do the same thing with that skin side down. Something else that I do is when I'm putting my chicken thighs and I'm searing them off, I try to make sure that they're not touching, try to avoid them touching too much because if the chicken is touching one another in the pan, what happens is instead of getting a nice sear, you're actually um, going to end up steaming the chicken and you're going to get a bunch of liquid and a bunch of water um, that's going to be introduced to the pan. So try not to have your chicken touch too much if at all possible so that way you don't get a lot of steaming and that'll help you to get that nice sear that we're looking for. So we have all this beautiful foam, we've got our drippings, and to that I'm adding one cup of water. And I also, I turn my flame all the way down to low. And so I have my flame on low, I add in my cup of water, I'm lifting up the fawn, all those nice drippings, and I'm gonna let it simmer just for a couple of minutes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add this liquid to our slow cooker with our chicken thighs. And I only let it simmer for about two or three minutes. Now, once that happens, then we're going to go ahead and put our chicken into our crock pot. 
And I like to place my chicken the bone side down. I call that underside the bone side down. And I try to put in a, in a, a single layer, but with the chicken, that's kind of hard to do. And so if you need to stack it a little bit, that's fine. Because I am going to go uh, into the pot and I'm going to rotate it around when I'm about halfway done cooking. Any juices that are in my bowl, I put those in. And then the nice juice that we have from our pan, we add that. I'm going to put the top on and I'm going to cook mine on high and it's going to cook on high for about three to four hours or either you can cook it on low for about five to six hours and so but again I'm going to cook mine on high and it's going to cook about three to four hours and this meal goes great with rice I'm making mine for the family tonight with rice you can also make it with mashed potatoes on the side I've also done a nice mixed vegetables of corn and green beans and carrots together, some peas. I've done that. I've also done some smothered cabbage with cornbread and with this smothered chicken. Y'all, it was so good. So what I'm doing next is I'm going in and I'm chopping up some fresh parsley because I'm going to put some fresh parsley on top of the chicken as well. And you can also use some dried parsley. And that's something just a little extra that I like to do. So I'm going to check on my chicken and see how it's doing. It's been cooking on high for two and a half hours. I'm going to rotate it around a bit. And you see what I was talking about, how the chicken will make some additional juice in your pan. And so you'll have additional juice that's going to come off the chicken. And I'm just rotating the chicken around, just trying to make sure that if there was pieces that was on top, I rotate those to the bottom and vice versa. And so it's looking good. I'm going to put the top back on. We're going to let it go ahead and cook for an additional hour. Come back and check on it to see how it's doing. And then also, if you need to, I'm using seven thighs, but if you need to use eight thighs, nine thighs, you can definitely add in a couple more thighs if you need to. And at this point, our chicken is done. We are just shy of four hours our chicken is nice and tender it has even fallen off the bone and we have some little straggler pieces right there and so now we have all this wonderful uh, juice all this wonderful liquid that has come off of our chicken and some we built up and we're going to make some nice gravy that is going to be that smothering process. So what I'm doing is I'm putting in softened butter and you can use either salted or unsalted butter and you're going to use equal parts. So that was two tablespoons of soft butter and I put in two tablespoons of flour and I'm going to mix the flour and the butter together, make a little bit of a paste and I just use my spoon and just you want to keep pressing and so what I do is I just keep pressing mixing and blending until I get like this nice paste you don't want to have any dry flour at all so you want to make sure that that flour is well incorporated into the butter then I take a little bit of the liquid from my pan and I add it to the um, bowl mix that together and then then I take that and I add that to our slow cooker I'm using my whisk and I'm whisking around because I don't want any lumps. I want to make sure that I whisk it really good, break up the butter and the flour. And you see how the color has changed inside of our slow cooker, that, that everything is nice and blended. It's nice and smooth. And so using the whisk is the trick to have that happen. I'm going to go ahead and give this a try to see if I need to adjust um, anything for seasoning, if I need to add any more pepper to it, any more additional seasoning. Our seasonings are right on the money. And so now I'm gonna add the chicken back to our slow cooker. When I add it in, I like to take it and flip it and get it nice in that nice smothered gravy, just like that. And I still have it set to high, so it's still on high right now. And I put a little bit of the parsley that I had cut up. I'm gonna put the top on and we're going to let this continue to cook on high for about 15 minutes. And that additional 15 minutes allows our raw flour a taste to cook off. Our gravy will thicken up and all the flavors will marry together. So make sure you do wanna cook it for that additional 15 minutes. And so this is what our smothered chicken in the crock pot. Oh my gosh, it is looking so good. It is smelling so good. The family is ready for dinner. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to plate us up some. And I'm going to cut into it and see how we did tonight. It is nice and tender. 
I hope y'all give this recipe a try. But you guys, I have got to show you this. You see how nice and moist our chicken is? Let me go ahead and cut y'all a piece. I'm going to get your bite ready with some rice and gravy. Go ahead and take your bite. Now I'm going to take my bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all, this never disappoints. Well, I thank you for spending time with me today in my kitchen. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go on and hit that subscribe button. It's free. If you like this video, don't forget to show it some love. Give it a thumbs up. Click share. Share this video with a friend or family. And remember, it's always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.